Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream on YouTube from your PC. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. Live streaming on YouTube from your PC is very easy and is the most effective method at bringing your YouTube vision to your audience. However, before you get started, you may need some additional software. For this, I recommend getting Streamlabs OBS and going ahead and downloading it right here. It is free to use and it will help you immensely. So go to this website right here, streamlabs.com and download this software. So now that we have the software, let's go to youtube.com and sign in with our account. And then in the upper right hand side, let's go to this plus icon. So once we select this, we can go down to go live now. And it's going to bring us to our live dashboard. Now under the live dashboard, you have three options on the left hand side. You have stream, you have webcam. Now, if you're using webcam, you can pretty much just scream with your microphone, your webcam, and you don't need any additional software. However, you won't be able to capture like your screen at all on your computer. You're just going to be displaying your webcam. So if you're going to be playing video games, that's not really an option you want to go ahead and pick. So the last option on the left hand side is manage. And this is where all your scheduled streams will be. I have one created right now. If we go up to schedule stream right here, we will have the option to go back through our older streams and pick one and it's going to auto populate like the thumbnail, the details, the description. So let's select this one right here and go to reuse settings. Or we have the option to create new if we want to populate it ourselves. So let's go to reuse settings. And under schedule stream, the benefit to this is we can go ahead and display this to our audience like in a thumbnail that our stream is going to be coming up one day in advance, two days, five days, a week. And they're going to be able to go ahead and click a notification button specifically for that stream. And when it goes live, they'll get a notification. So now with YouTube, make sure you mark with is it for kids or not under this section. You have the option to change your thumbnail, enable monetization schedule your stream now if you're going to be a gaming channel make sure you select gaming under this section and add your game title youtube is going to automatically put you into that specific games category under the gaming section on youtube then put in your stream title then the next option down is if you want to public unlisted private and here's a unique thing now you have the option to specifically stream to your different levels, your different tiers of your membership. So I have official access and higher. That's one of my membership tiers or official supporter and higher. Otherwise, you have an option for all channel members. So if you want to just have a members only stream. Now, if you're going to be testing out your stream and getting everything created, just go ahead and put it to private or on listed right now. If this is your first time, you don't need to go public when you're just testing out your stream and if you're going to be testing out your stream i recommend going to the schedule stream option and i'll show you why in a second here and the last thing on here i want to show you is change the thumbnail so we will have the option to change our thumbnail so i have a bunch of different thumbnails in here let's go to my stream thumbnails so here's one of my thumbnails i'm going to select and it's very easy to change your thumbnail and put it in there let's go down to create now so here is my stream I just created. Now the thumbnail is wrong in here, but when I go into my actual video, it's correct. So if it looks a little bit different right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and select this. Now under the schedule stream section, there is a go live button in the upper right hand side of the screen. When you go live on Streamlabs OBS, it's going to connect you to the YouTube live dashboard and your stream will show up in this window. Now only under the scheduled stream option, once you get your stream started on Streamlabs, you will have to go over to go live and select this button right here. And you will have to do the same thing when your stream ends. You'll have to go up to the top right here and there will be an option to end stream. And you'll have to do that also on Streamlabs OBS. And that's why this may be a little bit more effective if you're just trying out streaming for the first time on YouTube because you can connect your streaming software and just see how it looks in the image without actually going live on YouTube yet. 
So now let's go back and go to stream. So I'm under stream now. If you look in the upper right hand side, I do not have that option to go live. Under stream, this is pretty much like a um, go live now kind of section. And you don't have an option to schedule your stream under here. So since we're looking in the upper right, we have live stream settings. And if you do have any product promotions, make sure you check this little button right here and make sure that is on. Then for additional details for tags and other details, visit YouTube Studio. Under here, we can go ahead and add our tags to our live stream. So right here under the tag section, we will want to put our tags and go to save. Otherwise, we can add it to a playlist right away. I'm not sure why they don't allow you to edit your tags just in this live dashboard area. But you do have the option to go to YouTube Studio and edit that and add tags. So the next one is monetization. Do you want monetization? Enable or disable it there. And here's the last option, live chat. Enable live chat, allow live chat to replay. And if you're getting really popular, you do have the option to slow your chat down and enable slow mode. Only channel members can send messages. Select this option right here. Then we have the option to share our live stream on our different media platforms. You can embed it or copy it. Now let's go ahead and edit our live stream. So this is going to look familiar because it's going to be essentially the same thing as the schedule stream, except you don't have the option to schedule the stream down here. But you can go ahead and edit this on the fly and go ahead and save it. Now let's go to the streaming settings. So under here we will have stream key. We're going to want to go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to want to go over to our streaming software. So I have OBS open right now. I have my PlayStation 4 in the background. Let's go to the settings option in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Pop open this. Then go down to stream. Now let's go to service and select YouTube. Now go down to stream key and paste your stream key in here. Go ahead and show it and make sure you have it correct. Then go down to done. Now let's go down to output. And under the streaming section, you have the option to increase your bit rate or make it less. If you have very poor internet, go ahead and decrease your video bit rate to like 2,500, 3,500, somewhere in there. If you are going to be streaming in higher frames per second, a higher resolution, increase your video bit rate to like 7,500 or 8,000. Now, if you do have poor internet, however, make sure you do reduce this. Otherwise, you're going to be dropping frames and your stream is not going to look good and your stream may crash as a result of it. Now let's go to done. Then under here, let's go to go live. And you may have this option on Streamlabs OBS where it makes sure you wanna go live. I'm gonna to go to go live now. And under here, I'll have the option to stop streaming. Now when I go over to my youtube.com page, under the live dashboard, it's gonna display my live stream in the live preview section. Now under stream setting, I did wanna mention, you have the option to unlist your stream once it ends. This means it's not going to be pushed out to your subscribers in their subscription box, so they won't see it. And it's not going to be on your main page under the video section. And this allows your audience to focus on your videos. When they get published, they'll get notifications. Whereas your live streams, they'll have to find you under like the left hand side of the screen in the pop down window. Under the subscription section, like Right here, you can see NASA and PlayStation are live streaming. Then you go to their page and you can see they're live streaming right now. That's how they can find you live streaming. And the live stream will show up on your main page, just like it does for this PlayStation live stream right now. However, when you go to videos, you'll notice that their live streams aren't in here because they have them unlisted. So if you are going to be like a streaming channel, essentially, you may not want to unlist your live streams. That's how you get your channel growth. Then you may want to enable DVR so you can go back and see your live stream as your live streaming at the moment. And you have your stream latency, normal latency, low latency, or ultra low latency. Go ahead and read the descriptions and see what one is best for you. I usually just keep it on low latency and it's about a five second delay before people will actually see what you're doing on screen, which isn't too bad. Then you can see your analytics, viewer activity, if you got super chats or your members or your stream health. It seems like my stream is good. It's excellent. And then your live chat will show up on the right hand side. So here's your chat on the chat options. 
you have the option to go to participants and see who is in your chat and talking. You can pop out the chat and you can take it and drag it anywhere you want and make it full screen. And it will be a lot easier to hear from people or talk to people and read their comments. Now let's go ahead and put this back by crossing that out. And if you are monetized, you have the option on YouTube to go to this little money icon and anyone will be able to see this when they're on your live stream. And they can donate through super stickers or super chats. And one thing else I should note since I'm live streaming is you can add stream markers. So it's a little bit easier to identify like key moments in your stream. Or this is a new option now to create highlights. You can go ahead and hit the hotkey for this control H. And this will bring up this page where you can kind of trim it down and find a specific section in your stream while you're live streaming um, like a, a key moment. Once again, you can add a title real quick Edit the description. You can set to private unlisted or when you're live streaming, you can set a video to public and publish this video based off of your live stream right now. So this is very cool. Typically, I just set it to unlisted or private. Then I go back to it after my stream and I'll add like uh, tags and I'll add a thumbnail to my highlight. Once you have your highlight, just go to create. So I am now done streaming. What would I have to do? So in the upper right hand side of the screen, let's go to end stream. Go to end. Now you can edit the stream in the studio and under here you can go ahead and trim your stream. So you are now done streaming on your streaming software. Go to an stream and end it. So that's how you live stream to YouTube on your PC. If you need additional videos on Streamlabs OBS, how to set that up, go ahead and check out some of my videos for OBS popping up right now or check my description for the playlist. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 and YouTube tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.